APIs are everywhere. They power your apps, your payment systems, your cloud services, pretty much every piece of modern software. But as systems get more complex, we have hit a wall. APIs don't just need to be tested anymore. They need to be orchestrated, discovered, and even used by AI agents. That's the direction the industry is moving, and it's happening fast. APIs have always been the glue of software. A login service calling user data, an e-commerce app checking inventory, a mobile app fetching recommendations, all of that runs on APIs. But here's the problem. As teams add more services, managing these APIs get harder. Imagine you are building a customer support chatbot. It needs to fetch order details from your order service, check payment status from a billing API, and maybe send a Slack update to the support team. Without a standard way to connect these APIs, you end up writing three different custom integrations, one for each service. And here is where most teams get stuck. APIs multiply quickly. You might start with a few services, but soon you're juggling dozens, maybe hundreds. Each one has its own docs and its own authentication flow. For developers, this means constant context switching. You're testing APIs manually, writing custom scripts, maintaining Postman collections, or digging through Swagger docs just to figure out what's going on. For architects, the challenge is even bigger. How do you ensure consistency across services? How do you keep APIs discoverable so new engineers don't rebuild what already exists? And then comes the AI layer. Suddenly, you're not just wiring APIs into code. You're wiring them into AI agents. If the API changes, your agent breaks. This is the messy cycle most teams fall into. APIs everywhere, but no consistent way to manage or orchestrate them. It's fragile, slow, and hard to scale. For years, Postman has been the go-to tool for testing APIs. But here is the interesting part. Postman isn't just about testing APIs anymore. It's evolving into a platform that helps us orchestrate APIs, especially for AI-driven workflows. And quick note before we continue, this video is sponsored by Postman. They have supported this content, but as always, the explanations and opinions here are my own. Now, let's talk about what's driving the change. Model Context Protocol, or MCP. Instead of gluing things together with fragile code, MCP defines a consistent way for agents to discover, connect, and use APIs. By the way, I've already done a deep dive on the fundamentals of MCP, what it is, how it works, and why it matters. If you haven't watched that yet, I'd recommend checking it out. In this video, we'll focus on how Postman brings MCP into the developer workflow and why that's a big deal. For engineers, MCP means less boilerplate. Instead of hand coding integrations every time an API changes, you can plug in an MCP ready service and let the agent handle it. For architects, it's about scalability. Once a service is exposed through MCP, it can be reused by different teams, different models, even different platforms, without redesigning the whole system. And for TPMs, it's about clarity. MCP makes APIs discoverable and standardized, so you can track what tools agents are using. Postman has introduced the agent generator. This takes an API, your internal microservice, a SaaS API, even something from the Postman API network, and wraps it in an MCP server. That means in a few clicks, you can turn an API into an AI-ready agent. All right, let's walk through a simple but powerful example together. We are going to take a basic weather API and make it something an AI agent can actually use. And we'll do it entirely through Postman. Here, we first pick our API. In this case, a weather API. You can either grab a public one from Postman's API network or use a collection you already have. Next, we choose the endpoints we care about. Let's keep it simple. One endpoint to get the current weather by city and another to get a three-day forecast. These will become the actual tools that the AI will be able to call. Now, in Postman, instead of writing a bunch of boilerplate code, you just click Generate MCP Server. Postman packages everything up for you and you get a ready-to-run project. You unzip it and you'll see a little Node.js server with your weather API wrapped in MCP format. When you convert an API endpoint into an MCP server, you are not changing what the API does. You are changing how AI agents can use it. Here's the advantage. 
a raw API endpoint is just HTTP. To use it, you need to know the URL, headers, auth, payloads, error codes, and you usually write glue code for each agent. An MCP server wraps that endpoint into a standard tool definition. It says to the agent, hey, I have a function called get current weather. Here's the input schema, here's the output schema, here is how you call it. So, instead of treating it like a random URL, the agent treats it like a well-defined function it can safely call. And yes, the MCP server is like a client wrapper around your API endpoints. It acts as the middle layer. The agent doesn't talk to your weather API directly. It talks to the MCP server. The server knows how to call the weather API and translate the response back into a standard format. From here, it's just like running any other node project. Open a terminal, type npm install, and then node MCP server.js. And boom. Your weather API is now an MCP server, which basically means it's no longer just an API endpoint. It's now an AI-ready tool. And here is where it clicks. You connect this MCP server into an AI agent, maybe ChatGPT in developer mode or cloud desktop. Once it's connected, you can literally ask, hey, what's the weather in Austin right now? The agent will call your get current weather tool, get the JSON response and answer you in plain English. In a few clicks, you have turned a regular weather API into an AI-ready tool that any MCP-aware agent can use. Now, you might be thinking if you're a strong developer, spinning up an MCP server by hand isn't rocket science. You could hack together a node or Python wrapper around the weather API in a weekend. And you'd be right. But here is why Postman doing it for you is actually a big deal. One API is fine, but imagine exposing five endpoints across five different services. You'd be writing JSON RPC handlers, defining schemas, normalizing responses, juggling API keys, and debugging transport issues. And that's a lot of repetitive glue. Postman cuts all of that out. You just pick the endpoints, hit generate MCP server, and it scaffolds the whole thing for you. This isn't really about one weather API. Think bigger, payments, HR, analytics, SaaS integration. With Postman's API network plus your own collections, you can MCP enable dozens of APIs in minutes. Now your AI agents don't just know about weather, they have got an entire catalog of tools ready to go. Now, not everyone who needs MCP tools is a backend engineer. A QA tester, a front-end dev, even a TPM who already lives in Postman can now MCP enable APIs without touching server code. That's democratization and it matters. All right, so far we have seen how Postman can MCP enable a simple weather API. But the real power shows up when you start chaining APIs together into actual workflows. So let's say you are building a customer support chatbot. A user comes in and says, I need a refund for my last order. And here is what happens behind the scenes with MCP. The AI agent first calls your order service MCP server. That's just your order API, but wrapped by Postman as an MCP tool. The agent fetches the details, order ID, items, payment method. Next, the agent calls your payment MCP server. Again, this could be Stripe, PayPal, or your own billing service, but now exposed as an MCP tool. The agent passes the order ID and the payment system processes the refund. Finally, the agent calls a Slack MCP server and it posts a quick message to your support team. All of that happens in sequence. Fetch order, issue refund, notify team, just from the user typing, I need a refund. And here is the key. You didn't hard code three different integrations. You just picked your APIs in Postman, hit generate MCP server, and now they're standard tools the agent can call. In just a few clicks, you can turn any API into an AI-ready MCP server and plug it straight into your workflows. If you found this useful, hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives on system design and AI, and check the link in the description to start building your own MCP server with Postman today.